You already know who it is, it's Uno, and today we back again, Uno Eats. Today we at Bubba and Frank Smokehouse Barbecue. You feel me, we about to try out a couple things. Before we go though, I know it's a couple different types of barbecue. You got St. Louis style, you got North Carolina style. I know Virginia has a style of barbecue, and it's a couple different places, but we're gonna see what they got inside. We're gonna try to compare them, see what we like, see what we don't. See if it's hitting, see if it's missing. Let's go. All right, back secured. I went ahead and got two different types of barbecue sandwiches. They got the St. Louis and they got the North Carolina. I ain't really know the difference. She said one is like pulled pork, one is chopped pork, one is like vinegar based, one is tomato based. We're gonna taste them and see which one is better. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, you know I had to go fries because we're not playing around about the taters. Not ever. And we want banana pudding. I'm not a banana pudding fan, but you gotta have some type of sweet going on. Hold on. Light skin Hennessy. Light skin Hennessy. But nah. Let's go ahead and see what it's hitting on. All right, so let's go ahead and try the fries first. You know what I'm saying? Let's just go ahead and do that. They small as hell. Oh. These hand cut fries. So, it tastes. That's good. That's seven. I'm gonna give them a seven though. They ain't really crispy. The season going crazy though. Season to profession for sure. But it's really, it's, it's slick hard to get crispy hand cut fries though. Huh. Them potatoes just be too fresh. But seven, seven out of 10 on the fries. Good season. And they fresh fries. All right, so. Let's go ahead and get into these uh, barbecue sandwiches. First up, we got the New, uh, North Carolina style. That's the chop, uh, the chopped up. Let's see what this hitting on. Did it come with extra sauce? No, I only came with coleslaw. I ain't rocking with this coleslaw. You don't look like how the other joints look. I ain't even. Gonna, we're gonna skip that. Hmm. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. Only time I ever ate barbecue was when my uncle made it. Shout out to Uncle. Shout out Uncle Joe. And that man make a crazy barbecue. This up there. This up there. Unc go crazy. He don't make he don't make a lot of things, but he do that barbecue. And this up there. This is an eight out of 10. I like how it is, it's flavorful. It's juicy, now you good, come on. You fine. You good. Now look, it's juicy, flavorful, fire, you know what I'm saying? And not too much vinegar. The bread was super soft. Not soggy, but soft. Soft, I like that. Good, good eight out of 10. It ain't uh, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's eight out of 10. All right, next we got the St. Louis style. Let's see what this hitting on. I like it. You can tell this got barbecue in it for sure. Let's see, it got that color. Definitely got that red tomato color. Definitely tomato based. Now, I ain't really a fan of, this, of the St. Louis style. It's like, As far as the, the barbecue though, they back there cooking it up. Cause it's chew, it's tender, it's juicy, it's like it milk. But it ain't like too soggy with a bread soggy. They do it right. But I don't know, it's fine. It's fine too. 
I'm gonna get this to eight out of ten too. It's nice, it's sweet, but it's still tangy. It's real savory. I like that. It's an eight out of ten for sure. It's easy, like. Damn man, I don't know which one. Now nah, I like the North Carolina better though. I'm gonna say the North Carolina better because it just something about it. Like it ain't sweet, but it got the right amount of saltiness, tanginess, the vinegar right on it. Like it's good. Like I like that. The pool is still kind of like chewy because it's pool. It's still like some whole pieces in it. Maybe maybe that's what it is. Like the North Carolina style, it melt for real. This melt, that one like, you bite it, it's, it's gone. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm gonna say the North Carolina style, got it. I ain't gonna hold you. If y'all into the to the barbecue, let me know which one y'all like. Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the North Carolina style, St. Louis style? I know it's a couple of different other styles, but they the only two that, you know what I'm saying? I know of. Drop down in the comments, let me know what other type of styles of barbecue that I should be aware of. You feel me? Um, oh yeah, I did get a dessert. I did go dessert. You know what I'm saying? Boy went, uh, let me hit that light scan handy one time. I ain't gonna hold you. All right, bet. So like I said, I got, uh, went ahead and got the dessert too. I see they had the banana pudding. You feel me? This one of my, uh, my granny, she used to love making banana pudding. So anytime I see it, like I'm not, I never was a fan of it, but and I said, just for that nostalgic vibe, I grab it. You know what I'm saying? So, we're gonna see what that's busting on. Pause. See what this shit hitting on. Let's dive into it, you feel me? Like I said, banana pudding, it look good. Whipped cream look good. They got the crumbles on deck. Niller wafer, you feel me? That look like a bunch of banana pudding, though. I ain't gonna hold you. All right, let's see what's hitting on. Nah. Nah. I ain't gonna hold you to, uh, you get it like a five out of 10. Like it looked like it's a bunch of banana pudding, but at the bottom they got a layer of the wafers. But we we'll give it, we we'll, we'll make it so low, the wafers are like, they not crispy, they like, uh, you know when you leave like a bag of chips open and then you go eat that chip and they be kind of like weird? That's what these are. Man. I ain't really digging that. So I'm gonna get that, what I say, a five out of 10? Five, five out of 10. That's a five out of 10. Sandwiches, eight out of 10. Vibe, overall vibe of the place, nine out of 10. It's good service, it was quick. You know what I'm saying? This, the cost of this was efficient, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't too much, I want nothing crazy. Kids eat free on Tuesdays. They ain't paying me for this promo. I'm just saying, like, slide through. It's a vibe in there, though. It's like a real diner vibe. It's like a mom and pop feel. You know what I'm saying? I really, I rock with it. Overall, good nine out of 10 on the whole spot. Bubba and Frank's, come check them out. Smokehouse Barbecue. I only grabbed the barbecue, but they did have a very selective menu. Plenty, plenty things you can order from. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, make sure you come down here, check them out. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe, you feel me? I'm trying to get that hun done subscribers real quick. You feel me? I'm close. Boy, close. The boy is close. I need to get there. Once we get 100, you know you know the power of 100s. You know the power of 100s. But I'm out of here. Uh, once again, thank you for you know what I'm saying, tuning in again. Come down to Bubba and Frank's. Like and subscribe, baby. Uno out.